Hi, J-Town art students. Welcome to your first week of non-traditional instruction. Uh, I got a puppy and he's gonna be joining us for a few minutes today. Hi, this is Miss Lacey. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I miss you guys and I hope you like this assignment. This is Miss Hatcher. Just don't see how Oh, I hate this stuff. Please just stop. Just don't even include me. Just, just break. Just no. say, okay. Hey, this is Miss Hatcher. Glad to see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, we wanted to go ahead and make a short little introduction video for your assignment this week. I'm going to do a screen share and show you guys around. Okay, so this week, you're going to be learning about the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo, and we want you to keep in mind as you're working on this assignment that next week, you're going to be doing a self-portrait assignment. And so this week, um, as you do research on Frida Kahlo, um, you're, you should also be thinking about getting inspiration and ideas from her and her work that can help you with your self-portrait assignment that you're gonna be doing next week. Um, Frida Kahlo was um, a disabled artist, and so we thought that her work might be a good inspiration um, for everyone right now, since she was kind of, um, a, a, a large majority of her life, she was bedridden and not able to go out into the world. So she was kind of quarantined into her own home um, which is similar to what we're all experiencing right now. So for this assignment, this week, what you're gonna do is just do some research on Frida Kahlo. Um, and they have turned her home into a museum. So you will go to the Frida Kahlo Museum, um, which is a website, and you're gonna browse around and just learn more about the artist and her paintings and her artwork. Um, one of the most important parts of the website will be the Frida Kahlo tab that you can click at the bottom. And it's going to have all these options on the left hand side. You're going to be able to read her biography. You're going to be able to see photos of her. Um, you're also going to be able to, and like you can click and enlarge these photos if you want. You're going to be able to learn about her surroundings. Um, and Diego Rivera was her husband. He was also an artist and he was a very um, internationally famous mural artist. Um, so you can see about her and Diego and you can also see photos of her friends and family. There's some videos available on her and then you can also look at her artwork. They're gonna have galleries here, um, different artworks that she's created and painted. So. We really want you all to take some time to browse her work. Um, what you're gonna do for us this week is after you do your research, you're gonna have um, a choice of two different ways to complete your assignment. Your first choice is that you can create a short two minute video using your cell phone or the computer. And you're just gonna show us different artworks, photos or videos that you found most interesting about Frida. And you can just kind of point your screen at the, at the photos and talk about them over the video recording. Um, and there's some questions that you're gonna be able to respond to. Things like, um, what did you learn about her life? Why was she disabled? Who was she married to? Which of her paintings do you like the best and why? And what was, what was the subject of her paintings? If you choose to do a video, it should be no longer than two minutes. You can upload it to YouTube, and then you will just submit a link to your video through Google Classroom so that we can give you credit for doing the work. Your other option, if you don't wanna do a video, your other option is to create a Google slide presentation. And again, you're just gonna answer some of those same questions, but you can take screenshots or save pictures of her paintings and her artwork, and then you're gonna just write some text and also just discuss your answers to these questions. If you choose to do a Google slide presentation, you're just gonna send a link via Google Classroom. Um, and so if you all have questions or you need any help, you know that you can reach your teachers in a variety of ways. 
through Google Classroom, through email. And uh, we hope that you enjoy learning about Frida Kahlo.